happy morning to my dear lovable students i hope you all are doing well in this conversation we are moving to continuation of exercise 2.12 question number 6 okay what is the question we have to prove one condition is there opposite side we have to prove the zero so solution the lghs what is the term lghs equal to log a square by bc plus log b square by ca plus log c square by ab so already you know the log value each and every time plus means we can write no into so log of a square by bc into b square by ca into c square by ab therefore log of so numerator multiply means a square b square c square divided by a into a a square b into b b square c into c c square so a square a square b square b square c square c square cancel therefore the value will be log 1 log 1 value already we know the zero this is called archaeus so hence proved okay so i will continue the next question be stay on the line so i am moving to question number 8 pro log a base a square log b base b square log c base c square we have to prove 1 by 8 so pro the pro lghs lghs log a base a square then this is a square okay then into log b base b square into log c base c square so reciprocal means a and a square interchange isn't it what will happen log a square base a into 1 by log b square base b into 1 by log c square base c so the power rule already we know what is the power rule log x power r means we can write no r into log x therefore 1 by power time bring out front side means true log a base a into 1 by true log b base b into 1 by true log c base c another one property log a base a or log x base x or log c base c result will be 1 therefore we can say now 1 by true into 1 into 1 by true into 1 into 1 by true into 1 therefore answer 2 into 2 4 8 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 this is called or hs okay hence pro i will continue the next question question number 9 pro log a plus log a square plus log a cube plus dot 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 log a to the power n is equal to n into n plus 1 over 2 into log a already we learned in 9th or 10th standard formula is there 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 natural number formula so lghs what is lghs log a plus log a square plus log a cube plus dot 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 plus log a to the power n already we know the power rule log x to the power r means r into log x isn't it so r into log x means log a as it is plus the two is there no two into log a plus three into log a plus dot 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 plus power n come to the front means n into log a each and every time depends on log a therefore log a take common outside means 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 3 plus dot 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 plus n therefore log a into this is one of the formula and what is the formula 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n means n into n plus 1 by 2 so n into n plus 1 by 2 therefore n into n plus 1 by 2 into log a so this is our rhs no 
look at there what is our org i just n into n plus 1 by 2 into log e okay hence proved i will continue the next question question number 10 condition what is the condition is there i will take it the given condition okay the given log x by y minus z is equal to log y divided by z minus x equal to log z divided by x minus y so three term let i consider for equal to one constant name okay k okay so now kr is at whatever it is now each and every term comparing with the k what will happen so first term log x divided by y minus z is equal to k next condition log y divided by z minus x is equal to k next term log z divided by x minus y is equal to k the first term log x is equal to k into y minus z so this is consider for equation number 1 next case log y is equal to k into z minus x this is consider for equation number 2 then k into x minus y this is consider for equation number 3 we need prove that x y z the condition when we'll equating multiply means the term log x plus log y plus log z sorry made this is log z so log x plus log y plus log z means the whenever the log is plus means we can say no multiply the example log a into b is there means we can write now log a plus log b so c means what is the meaning log a plus log b plus log c so add the three equation add equation 1 2 and 3 left hand side log x plus log y plus log z so log x plus log y plus log z is equal to constant the k common is in outside means remaining y minus z plus z minus x plus x minus y so plus y minus y cancel minus z positive z negative x positive x cancel so remaining this is a log x plus log y plus log z means just reverse order log a plus log a log b means we can write no log a b therefore log x y z is equal to opposite side after cancel is a zero only is a zero into k zero so now there is nothing to there is no basis there so consider for e means take it for e means what will happen if you remove the log means x y z and zero interchange zero come to the exponents opposite term bring out right hand side so what will happen if you remove the log means we can say you know, e to the power zero is equal to x y z therefore x y z we can say you no know, e power zero so the value e power 0 anything power 0 value will be 1 this is our proof no x y is it is equal to 1 so hence proved okay i will continue the next question question number 11 from exercise 2.12 so solve is there so we have to find out the value of x so first term solution first term log x base true minus 3 next term come to the reciprocal means what will happen the base and term will be interchanges in it therefore we can write no 3 by log 1 by true base x it equal to 6 now log x base true minus 3 by already we know one property log x by y is equal to log x minus log y so we have the x by y form here 1 by 2 is there no therefore log x base true sorry didn't complete no no here how to write it log 1 minus 
log true base will be x it will be equal to 6 again log x base true minus 3 by log 1 value is 0 isn't it so 0 no need to write to remaining minus log of true base x equal to 6 again log x base true minus into minus plus 3 by log true base x equal to 6 again log x base true again denominator come to the numerator means true and x interchange isn't it again plus 3 log x base true is equal to 6 now look at there here also first time also log x base true second time also 3 log x base true so it will be same now we can say right now 3 plus 1 is equal to value will be 4 therefore 4 log x base true is equal to 6 again log x base true is equal to 6 by 4 now log x base true is equal to will be cancel means 3 by true 3 by 2. We need the value of x, isn't it? If you remove the log, means exponents, isn't it? Exponents means 2 to the power 3 by 2 is equal to x. Therefore, this is also we can say x is equal to true power 3 by 2. Otherwise, we can write another one answer also. x is equal to true power 3, the whole power of 1 by 2, isn't it? If you multiply means according to the formula a to the power m, the whole power n means a to the power m and n. So, 3 into 1 by 2 means again the same value will be repeat. So, x is equal to 2 power 3 means 8 to the power of 1 by 2. Therefore, the power of 1 by 2 means we can say no, x is equal to 8 power 1 by 2. Therefore, square root of 8. Square root of 8 means what is the meaning? 4 into 2. Therefore, the final answer x is equal to 2 root 2. So, okay. This is our answer, okay can stop it but sometimes uh, the explanation according to the question we can write it x is equal to 2 root okay I will continue the next question last question from exercise 2.12 solve question solution log x square minus 6x six plus 65 base 5 minus x is equal to true so, if you remove the log means uh, 2 come to the exponents that is 5 minus x the whole square is equal to x square minus 6x plus 65. What is the formula a minus b the whole square? So, a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, now 5 square means 25 minus 2 into 5 into x plus b square means x square is equal to x square minus 6x plus 65 again 25 2 into 5 minus 10x plus x square is equal to x square minus 6x plus 65 so x square x square cancel then remaining grouping x term one side constant term another one side minus 10x minus 6x bring it opposite side means a positive 4x remaining that is plus 6, 65 no 65 plus 25 bring it opposite side means minus 25 minus 10x plus 4x so minus 6x isn't it say where i have done mistake 25 to 5 are 10x the question x square minus 6x plus 65 yeah there is mistake is there no look at there minus 6x so minus 6x bring it opposite side means positive 6x now minus 10x plus 6x means minus 4x is equal to 65 minus 25 is equal to 40 therefore therefore x is equal to 40 divided by minus 4. 40 and 4 will be cancelled means x is equal to minus 10. This is our answer. Okay. I will continue the new unit. Okay. Chapter number 3. Be stay on the line. So, moving to chapter number 3. What is the name of chapter number 3? Trigonometry. So, the main condition, the condition 3.21 angles is there, isn't it? Angle means 
the take sample this is considered for origin point o means the one tray i have drawn one line means this is called initial side okay then this is called initial side means how to measure the angle the same origin will be move on another one tray okay another one tray this is called b means in between a to b that is called angle so this is initial side means this is considered for terminal side okay this angle one complete revolution is called already we know what how much 360 degree so we have the different type of the angle also isn't it so what are the type is there so type of angle so type of angle first one zero to less than 90 degree so zero to less than 90 degree that is called acute angle then true exact 90 degree this is exact 90 degree means already we know the exact 90 degree means what is the meaning it's a right angle isn't it right angle the same angle will be more on exact strike line means that is called strike line that is 180 degree isn't it 180 degree but another one in between third one more than 90 so greater than 90 so less than 180 that is called obtuse angle obtuse angle then exact so exact 180 degree exact 180 degree that is called strike line then more than more than 182 less than 360 that is called reflex angle so reflex angle then exact 360 mean the one complete of revolution isn't it so one complete revolution then another one continuation of the concept sexagesimal system isn't it so uh, gesimal system already is there 3.2.2 the different system of measurement angle the part one is there then where is a right angle this right angle divided into 90 equal parts the right angle divided into 90 equal parts that is called degree one of the button okay some question also is there 90 equal parts that is called degree okay at the same time each degree is divided into 660 equal parts so each degree divided into 60 equal parts that is called minutes what is the name that is called minutes then each minutes into 60 equal parts each minutes into 60 equal parts so that is called seconds okay so degree minutes and seconds how to derive the degree 90 right triangle divided into 90 equal parts that is called degree the same degree it's divided into 60 equal parts that is called the minutes the same minutes divided into 60 equal parts that is called the seconds okay so another one part also is a cent centesimal system actually the present plus one plus two, they are not utilizing centesimal circular system then degree measurement also okay we stay on the line i will continue then how now we are moving how to find out degree and radians so one circle is there divide the four part means the same length will be depends on this length of the arc the same measurement it will be more on length of the arc so this measurement also we call that measurement also we call this measurement also equal means that is called one radians okay that is called therefore this length of arc is equal to one revolution that is called 360 degrees and already you know the circumference of the circle what is the formula so circumference of the circle is equal to the length will be equal to 360 degree means circumference of the circle formula 2 pi r isn't it so we can say you know, r means radians so this is also r radian this is also r. this is also r so 2 pi the radians will be equal to 360 degree means therefore how to find out the one radian so radian 
will be equal to 360 divided by 258. Therefore, 2 and 360 will be cancelled means 180. Therefore, 1 radians is equal to 180 divided by 5 means. So, this is the degree, no? Now, how to find out the degree? Therefore, 1 radians is equal to 180, div 180 divided by 5 means. Therefore, 1 degree is equal to reciprocal, no? 1 degree is equal to pi by 180. Therefore, how to find out the 60 degree? So, find out 60 degree will be equal to 5 by 180 into 60 means value will be 3. Therefore, 60 degree will be equal to 5 by 3 radians. Therefore, 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians means. So, 1 radian is equal to 180 divided by 5 means 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians. Therefore, how to find out the 60 degree convert for radians? Pi by 180, 60 into 60 will be cancelled means pi by 3 radians. Okay. Then, some important points is there in your book. What are the points? Just read it now, okay? Because the four point degree measure, degree measurement is there. Four points is there. True angles have exact same measurement. Exact same measurement. That is called congruent. Another second point, true angles have the measurement adding 90 degree. So, suppose the true one angle 55, another one angle 35 means. So, 55 plus 35 is equal to 90. That is called the complementary angle. At the same time, true angles have their measurement adding 180. That is called the supplementary. The last point is also, the time is there. Listen very carefully. True angles between 0 to 360 degree. So, between th 3 to 0 to 360 degree means only 0 to 3, whether only full and full positive value 360 degree or conjugate when if there sum is equal to 360 degree that is our condition okay then another one point is there i will continue okay the time also one of the important angle in standard position is there we stay on the line so continuation of concept listen very carefully the condition so, one degree value is there, 59.0854 is equal to 59 degree, answer also is given, what is answer, 59 degree plus 0 0.0854, after, after writing step by step, the last answer, what the answer we found, so 59 degree, so 5 minutes and 7.44 seconds. How to derive? First one, the time will be, we can write the whole number 59 degree consists of the next condition 0 0.0854 into 60. 6 fours are 24. True. 5 six are 30. 30 plus true, 30 true. Carry will be 3. 8 six are 48. 48 plus 3, 51. So 1. Now 5. So 6 zeros are 0. 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. Now the one more 0 is there. After decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, the point means the 5 is the whole number. So, we can write in next condition 5 minutes. The next what is the time is there? 0 0.1240 into again 60. Convert for seconds, the minutes and seconds. Again 60 means 6 fours are 24. True. 2 six are 12. 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. Again 1. 1 six are 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Look at there. After decimal, one more zero. After decimal point, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, point seven. So, we can write it 59. So, 59 degree, then 5 seconds, then point seven point four four zero isn't it? Sorry, one more zero is it? Sorry, my dear. This is, you will confuse because here also zero. So, two zero will come. After decimal point, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four means seven point four four. Therefore, seven point four four seconds. This is the way. Then next step also listen very carefully. So they have given minutes and seconds convert for degree. How? They have given 34 degree and 51 seconds. Sorry, 51 minutes and 35 seconds. It will be equal to 34 point. 8597. 8597. So, here listen very carefully. They are given degree, minutes, and seconds. So, the answer for also degree. How? 
divided by 60 isn't it so divided by 60 the minutes means divided by 60 second means divided by 60 into 60 that is 3600 so first 34 as it is next condition 51 divided by 60 so in your calculator 51 divided by 60 what the answer 51 divided by 60 answer for 0 0.85 isn't it 0 0.85 so we can take no so 34.85 is there the next condition so 34.85 the next condition also 51 divided by 60 into 60 because convert for second so for 16 into 6 means definitely we can say 51 divided by 3600 so 51 divided by 3600 will be equal to 51 divided by 3600 value will be 0. Point. so the sorry my dear 35 isn't it 35 divided by divided by 3600 now 0. 0.00972 digits going on so add it now 34 points so 8 5 then 9 7 look at there 34 point 8 5 9 7 degree this is the way okay so convert for minutes mean divided by 60 convert for second means 60 into 60 that way then another one condition also is there last term so 90 degree minus Ninety degree minus thirty six degree eighteen seconds. Sorry, thirty six degree eighteen minutes and forty seven seconds. Value we have fifty three degree forty one se minutes and thirteen seconds. How? Listen very carefully. Ninety minus ninety. What is the minus value? So 36, then 18 min 18 minutes and 47 seconds. So convert for each and every time. Definitely minutes mean 60 difference. Second also 60 difference. Now what will happen? So borrow means because so 90 first borrow means there will be 89 will come. The next case there is again borrow means here will be convert for 60 means. Sorry dear, first week there is zero is there, no? Zero minutes and zero seconds. What will happen? So borrow means here come to the now 60. Here come to the 60. Next once again borrow means there is 59. Now come to the 60. So 60 minus 47, what the value will come? 13 seconds. 13 seconds. 59 minus 18. 13 and 41. So, 41 minutes, 89 minus 36. So, 89 minus 36, definitely 53. Isn't it? So, now the value we have 53 degree, 41 minutes and 13 seconds. This is the way how to convert for minutes degree. Okay. And seconds also. Okay. I will continue the next concept.